What best describes the data generated from this type of study? Comparative efficacy, cost benefit, cost effectiveness, potency, profile of adverse effects. A post-marketing observational study of a new drug was conducted on 5,000 patients following clinical trials. What best describes the data generated from this type of study? Post-marketing observational study, PMOS. PMOS is related to PASS. PASS means Post Authorization Safety Studies. Post Authorization Safety Studies are the non randomized observational studies that are often conducted whenever a new drug is introduced into a clinical trial. So now we should go back to our clinical trial and its phases. Clinical trials are commonly classified into four phases. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, and Phase 4. Phase 4, Post-Marketing Surveillance or PMOS, Post-Marketing Observational Study. PMOS will monitor the side effects, profile of the adverse effects. Phase 3 will assess the effectiveness and phase 3 is generated as a part of RCT, randomized control trial and phase 4 PMOS is generated as a part of non-RCT, non-randomized control trial. Phase 2 will assess doses and the efficacy. And phase 2 is further subdivided into phase 2A and phase 2B. Phase 2A will assess the optimal dosing. Phase 2B will assess the efficacy. So after D comes E. After A comes B. So 2A dosing, 2B efficacy. And phase 1 will determine the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the newly trial drug. So we can go for the summarization. Phase 1, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Phase 2A, doses. Phase 2B, efficacy. Phase 3, effectiveness as a part of RCT. Phase 4, post-marketing surveillance or post-marketing observational studies. It will monitor or assess the side effects or profile of the adverse effects. Phase 2 and Phase 4, these two are usually the most important for the main exam and you can expect questions from either Phase 2 or Phase 4. So comparative efficacy, Phase 2b. Cost Effectiveness Phase 3 So the data generated from the post-marketing observational study will describe the profile of the adverse effects. Post-Authorization Safety Studies PASS are observational, non-randomized studies conducted after a new drug is introduced into clinical use. Their aim is to characterize the adverse effect profile, particularly in patients not studied during clinical trials, such as those with liver and renal disease, pregnant women and the children. <laughs>